Most of the time, the kitchen is the one room that uh, a lot of people find is the most cluttered, needs uh, some help. Yeah, well, it's, it's actually the cabinets that are probably most cluttered, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's and true. And even when you attempt organization with Tupperware, which I do have, <laughs> and lids always seem to be go, go missing, kind of like uh, my socks. It's confusing <laughs> to know which containers work for certain foods. Luckily, Leslie is breaking through the mess with our team of experts in today's Let's Get Organized. And now we got a solution for the socks. <gasps> you really? Mm -hmm. Nice. We do. I'm here with Julia and Nicole from Genius Organizing to help us organize all of this stuff, these plastic <laughs> containers that just go on for days and days, right? Right. <laughs> now, how often should we go through the cupboard? We would say it's good to go through your cupboard about once a quarter. This is your food. These are dishes that you're dealing with every single day. Why not take time every three months to see if your containers are up to speed, healthy, clear, able to keep your food? But obviously, as you're using items and as they stain, chip, Fall yeah, apart. these are I mean, all those, stained here. Yeah. Would you, would you, what would you recommend? Washing these or tossing them out? I say to be safe, you're going to toss some of this toss stuff. These. Yeah, let's toss. Okay. Now, I know whenever I go to the grocery market, I, I pick up all these little containers of or my salad in this, and you keep them to reuse, but how long should you keep reusing stuff like this? I'm going to say th something like this, which is a salad container, this has a one or two time shelf life. Something like this, which is a soup container, is a little bit nicer, and I think four or five goes with that, can, can work, because okay. you're actually protecting your food. But I also say that the more that you have things coming in, you're losing the curating control over what you have in your home. So if you've got these things coming in, and you're just letting them all come in, you're trying to stack them, this is on top of this, this is on top of this, this is falling over in your cabinet. It's not You're, not, you're yeah. no longer in charge of how your organization yeah. is being kept. Which brings about the most important thing, what to do with the endless stack of lids <laughs> that don't even match half the time. What do you recommend for that? There's a couple of things. You could use something like this basket, which is sort of what we call a corral. Okay. So everything Thing goes into one location. Also, you can use a bag like this, where I even get so anal as using a Sharpie and writing a number A, or number one, or a letter A. Oh, that's beyond ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I do what I do. But know. that's and that's how when you have you have an F lid and you have no F bottom, then you're like, okay, F well, it's time goes. for F lid to go. What's the best ones to buy? Um, I would say that it's really about your preference. There's, there are things that um, locking lids, th lids that stick together, those things are really great. IKEA really has this great um, new system that is functional because not only does it keep the air out, but it also has this pop lid so that when you microwave it, then the steam can come out. Glass is by far the best. Oh. So glass containers, things you can, something like this, which is more of a rectangle. I prefer a rectangle for stacking and keeping things in your cabinet. But the glass is better for you physically. Um, it's also better for the environment. It's easier to clean. It's prettier. So you can take this from freezer to refrigerator to stove yep. to table oh. to dishwasher yep. and back in. I think people love their plastic still, though. You know, I mean, they're not going to get rid of all of it, no. but this is a good addition. Well, plastic is really good if you want to separate. You can take plastic when you're taking things to work mm -hmm. your, or your kids' lunches. You can use these for that. And then when you're doing your meals at home, you can go with the glass. What can we tell people to have them do this every three months? It's important for people to know that glass containers last longer, they're better for the environment. It looks prettier in your cabinet and enhances your food flavor, it's better for you. All good reasons to get organized. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Leslie. Just a reminder, we're not supposed to put plastic containers in the microwave. I hear the dishwasher is good though. So glass containers may be your best bet.